Welcome to Tinacheki and a special welcome to the African History Series, a series where we look at the great men and women who paved the way for us today. In today's video, we'll be looking at the life of the African Samurai. We'll be looking at the life of Yasuke. Before we continue, please take the time to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Yasuke's origins are somewhat shrouded in mystery, with many theories of where he came from. One theory believes that he was from the Yao people from Mozambique. The Yao people were just coming into contact with the Portuguese at that time, which might account for his name, that is Yao, added to the common Japanese male name suffix of Suke, getting to his name Yaosuke. Another theory states that he was from South Sudan. This is mainly because of his looks, his deep melanated skin, and his height. He was thought to be from the Dinka people who are well known all over the world for their great height and their deep complexion. Another theory states that he was from Ethiopia. At that particular time, Ethiopians who were not Jewish, Christian or Muslim were often sold into slavery and called Kafre by the Portuguese. According to this theory, his original name might be the Amharic name Isake or the Portuguese name Isake, derived from Isaac. Not much is known about his early life, but it is believed that he was sold into slavery and taken to India. When in India, he was purchased by the Italian Jesuit missionary Alessandro Valgnano, who was in need of a servant. Alessandro was impressed by Yasuke's intelligence, strength and adaptability, and he took him to Japan in 1579. When Yasuke arrived in Japan, he caused quite a stir. At that time, Japan was a close society that was suspicious of outsiders. The Japanese people had never seen an African person before, and they were fascinated by Yasuke's appearance. According to historical accounts, Yasuke was six feet tall, with skin the color of charcoal and curly black hair. His size and strength made him an object of curiosity, and many people wanted to see him up close. Yasuke's story takes an unexpected turn when he meets Oda Nobunaga, one of the most powerful warlords in Japan. Nobunaga was intrigued by Yasuke's strength and intelligence, and he decided to make him his personal attendant. As Yasuke served Nobunaga, he gained the warlord's trust and admiration. Nobunaga was impressed by Yasuke's loyalty and his willingness to learn about Japanese culture. Eventually, Yasuke was granted the honor of becoming a samurai. This was a significant achievement as samurais were the elite warrior class in Japan and it was rare for an outsider, especially an African, to be accepted in the ranks. Yasuke was given a suit of armor, a sword, and he was now a fully-fledged samurai and a member of Nobunaga's inner circle. As a samurai, Yasuke served Nobunaga faithfully and he participated in several battles and campaigns. He fought alongside other samurai and proved himself to be a capable warrior. Yasuke's status as a samurai also gave him a unique perspective on Japanese culture. He learned about the customs, traditions, and language of Japan, and he became a bridge between the Japanese and African cultures. However, Yasuke's life as a samurai was not without its challenges. He faced discrimination and prejudice from some Japanese people who did not believe that a foreigner, especially an African, could be a true samurai. Despite this, Yasuke remained committed to his duties and loyalty as a samurai. In 1582, Nobunaga was betrayed by one of his generals and committed suicide. Yasuke was there when it happened and he was one of the few people who escaped the massacre that followed. After Nobunaga's death, Yasuke's life took a dark turn. He left Japan and his fate is unknown, but his legacy lives on. Yasuke's story is a testament to the resilience and strength of the human spirit. As a foreigner, as an African, a person of color in a country that was not his own, he faced incredible challenges but rose above them to become a respected and well-known samurai and trusted advisor to powerful warlords. Yasuke's legacy lives on and his story continues to inspire many people around the world. He was a true trailblazer and a pioneer who took down barriers and paved the way for future generations. He paved way for all Africans to believe they can exist 
in all areas of the world. We can all learn from this example and strive to overcome challenges we face in our own lives because of your skin. Thank you for watching today's video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so and hit the notification bell. Be sure to let us know your thoughts about Yasuke, the great African samurai, in the comments below. If you've enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to watch our other videos which celebrate our Mama Africa. We have the Mysteries of Africa series and the Amazing People of Africa series. It's been me, Linda, from Tuna Travel. Be sure to check out my YouTube channel. Until the next video, stay safe and remember, Africa is what